So my name is Melissa Squires. I'm the board and chair of the Empire State Pride Agenda. I'm a transgender New Yorker. I was last year a month ago in this room. It was for an AA drag pageant. Different thing. <laughs> um, first, I want to thank uh, the uh, National Parks uh, Conservation Association, Courtney Worrell, Oliver uh, Stubman, and the brains of the operation, Timothy Leonard, for all the work that the two years that I've been involved with, it, and of course, Congressman Jerry Adler and Robert Atterbury. People that struggle did not start at Stonewall, and it does not end with the naming of this park today. You know, we look back over time in 1969, all the divisions that we're used to today with LGBTQ people did not exist. Race and class, gender, gender identity, all were mixed together. The police, all were enemies to be dealt with. All were people that had no place in our culture and society. Over time, that changed. Those that had seats at the table made sure that their voices were heard and their faces were seen. And everyone here will remember the, the site, the pointed site of leaders such as Martha, Martha P. Johnston, Sylvia Rivera, Sylvia Rivera in 1973, on the stage in Washington Square Park, begging to be heard, to be acknowledged for the work for trans people, for the drag community, for people of color and the poor. But one of the last times she was given the opportunity to speak. And to hear from Ms. Major and my friend Yvonne Ritter, who celebrated her 18th birthday by coming to Stonewall that night in a lovely dress of her mom as a high school kid. Diversity is what this moment stands for. It is up to us and our future to make sure it grows and increases. Stonewall is like a pebble in a pond with ripples that go forward. And so when we take a look at, at what we thought Stonewall was in 1969, it is completely different today. It includes all of us and our friends and our family. And it continues today. For trans people, the struggle began in Compton Cafeteria in 1966, where it was obvious where trans people were being set upon by the police. And it continues today, where Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson were the faces and voices for trans community. Now in North Carolina, when Pat McGrory says no to transgender people, he has to deal with President Barack Obama and Attorney General Loretta. Thank you, Jerry, for all the work. Thank you for being here today uh, as we move forward and honor all of us together.